Real Madrid in the last few days have been pushing a lot for Hendrik. So the race is absolutely open to these three clubs, but Real Madrid are now really insisting, really pushing to sign the Brazilian star. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we focus on Brazilian talents. One born in 2006, one born in 2004. I have some updates for you. And so guys, let's jump into it together. And guys, you know, I'm speaking since a long time about this top talent. Remember the name, really remember the name because he's going to be a top star in the future. And this Hendrik, this striker from Palmeiras, born in 2006. You know that he's now the youngest goal scorer in the history of the club, the youngest goal scorer in the history of Blasi Rao, born in July 2006. So really impressive. And I told you that there are three clubs in the race. These three clubs are still in the race. Paris Saint-Germain, Chelsea and Real Madrid. The father of the player a few days ago said that Paris Saint-Germain are the only club who made an official bid to Palmeiras for Hendrik. Is an important official bid, but from what I'm told, Palmeiras refused that bid from Paris Saint-Germain, so still no agreement between clubs, still room for the other clubs interested in Hendrik to enter into it, and so it's PSG. Chelsea, Real Madrid in the race, but what I can add today is that Real Madrid in the last few days have been pushing a lot for Hendrik. So the race is absolutely open to these three clubs, but Real Madrid are now really insisting, really pushing to sign the Brazilian star. They have an excellent relationship with the agents of the player, who are the same agents of many other Brazilian stars, including Vinicius Jr. They are so attractive to Brazilian players because of the history, of course, Roberto Carlos, Kaká, Ronaldo, the recent players as Vinicius, Rodrigo, and many others, but also they want to sign a top striker for the future because Karim Benzema is the president of Real Madrid, is the legend of Real Madrid, is the Ballon d'Or, of course, so he's still part of Real Madrid plans for at least one more season, but Hendrik is considered one of the best players in his position for the future, and this is why Real Madrid are going really strong on Hendrik in the last days, in the last hours. So let's see what happens in the next weeks, but Real Madrid are in the race for Hendrik, Real Madrid are pushing, and so PSG bid has been turned down, but PSG are still there. We know that Chelsea are still there with the president of Boli, who wants to invest in young players. But Real Madrid, in the last few days, are pushing a lot to sign Hendrik. So let's see what happens, but Real Madrid are back on track for the Brazilian star. And then, guys, another Brazilian talent, another very good one. He's called Mateus França. He's playing for Flamengo, born in 2004, talented offensive midfielder, typical Brazilian player, but also with a European mentality. I'm told that he's not just talented, but really focused focus it on his career, on his future, and so really smart guy. Let me say that two Premier League clubs are working to sign Mateus France. Uh, we know we had rumors about Crystal Palace and I can confirm they are interested, but not just Crystal Palace. It's two clubs interested in uh, Mateus France. The price tag will be around 15, 20 million for Mateus France. There are negotiations ongoing with Flamengo. Still nothing decided. In the summer, there was a German club who wanted to sign uh, Mateus France, but Flamengo said no to the proposals. Now Flamengo are still trying to keep the player, but these two Premier League clubs are pushing to sign Mateus. So Mateus France for Premier League, Vinicius Junior is already a star in Europe and his agents are the same of Hendrik and so for Vinicius his contract extension with Real Madrid that will arrive really soon but Hendrik is now in the middle of this race with PSG, Chelsea and Real Madrid but guys Real Madrid in the last few days are really pushing to sign him so let's see what happens but there are many Brazilian gems around the market and keep an eye on Hendrik and on Mateus Franz. And so guys, let me know your opinion on these Brazilian talents, especially on Hendrik. I want your feeling. Where do you think he will end up? I want your comment, guys. Here, as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano here on the channel. Subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, like this video. Ciao!